I have character flaws within me that cause me to overanalyze and kind of like predict the questions that my viewers would have. And it will cause me to defer my attention away from what is the most important thing is what's the market doing. Look how easy it is for me to die, you know, just veer off of, the, of a topic. And you think I'm going to go out here and do a live stream and buy and sell in front of you and be able to explain everything and have everybody ask me questions. And I, I tried. I tried that in 2016 with my first mentorship. I tried, man. I tried really hard. I couldn't focus. I couldn't do it. And that was a big, big bitter pill for me because at the time, I was thinking, shit, I got this. I can. This is nothing for me. I'm ICT for fuck's sake. Man, watch this. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> I was struggling. I couldn't. I couldn't focus. I couldn't do it. And even with my own son next to me, I can't focus if he's talking to me. Like I got to have complete and utter silence. I can't have it. I'll explain it after I've done something. And once I know what I'm doing, looking for and what I've done and I've you know, set the stop, I know what I'm looking for for my first partial. I have time to work within some measure of dialogue. You don't know if you have that weakness yet. You don't know if you have a weakness at all. Some of you might be exceptionally very versed in handling all these things and risk. And you might be the very superstar that some of you think I am. But if you don't go in with the right mindset and manage all of your expectations and the outside bullshit that's going to come. What have you been doing with ICT stuff since you've been messing around with it? What's your uh, MyFX book look like? Show me your statements. Show me your uh, full transparency community. Card membership. You're doing all the wrong things. If you, if you haven't even learned how to trade yet, you're worried about all the dumb shit. Trust me, you learn how to trade and you do well. You can plug yourself into all that stuff and you will stand out because there's no standouts right now. There's nobody exceptionally well standing out there being full transparent, killing it, extremely precise. and mild-mannered and not egotistical. At least I haven't seen that. If you know somebody, just let me know. I'd like to see them. I'd like to watch them. I like that. I support people like that because that's what this industry should see more of. But some of you are going to probably do all the wrong things and you're going to go in not wanting to do that, but you're going to get caught up in all the bullshit, the image, the pomp, the real quick money of stardom and fame and celebrity. I don't want that. Like it intimidates me now knowing that, you know, 424,000 people know my name, let alone listen to me. <laughs> Believe me, like I tried this, this whole Twitter space here and I started off pretty good, didn't I? No F-bombs. I didn't control, you know, I didn't lose control of my tongue. <laughs> But as soon as I start talking about all these goobers, it just comes out. And I can't help it. But, you know, that's a character flaw. I'm not proud of that. Some of you think it's like I'm beating my chest thinking I'm cool because I sometimes use colorful language. I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't. It's ugly language. It, it, you know what it shows? It shows my inability to be able to control my speech in a way where I can speak eloquently and not need to go there. Because I'm blue collar, true and true, I don't have the control sometimes to be able to see that I'm going to go off the rails. And sometimes I just want to say it because I feel like you get my intensity by saying it the way I say it. At least I feel like I've conveyed it that way. And after the fact, when I've made the mistake of listening to some of my Twitter spaces, it's cringy. It's cringy as shit because it's like, Man, this is this is ratchet ass ICT. Like this guy, <laughs> who would want to have an ICT mentorship like that or a mentor like that? But that's the reality. I'm a human being. You know, I have flaws like all of you do. All of you. And I have to wrestle with all these things when I'm doing everything you've seen me do. Like that trade this morning. I'm wrestling with my wife because she's in there saying, Hey, you said you wasn't going to, and I know. I said, just give me a second. <laughs> just give me a second. My wife, God bless her. OK, I put her through some shit all the time because I, I always tell her, look, I'm I'm done. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do. It. And for the most part, I'm being honest. But if she gives me an opportunity where I can see something forming and she's tied up with doing dumb shit FaceTime with people that I don't know and I don't care about. 
I'm going to try to squeeze it in. <laughs> That's what I did today. So it is what it is. It's all for your edification. And I love doing it. It's fun. But this year, I, I don't want to waste anyone's time. And I'm certainly not going to be trying to waste my own time. And I want you all to know that there is a right way of doing this. And there's certainly a lot of ways you're going to do it wrong. And I think if you've listened thus far, you know that you're either going to be those types of people that are going to make the best of this, or you're probably going to blow up. 